when you find a team that can support you, even when you're in a really, really difficult position, it's, it's, it's invaluable really. Anyone going into social work having completed the course will have a reasonable understanding of you know, what the, what the demands and challenges within social work can be. I find that what can ameliorate those demands and challenges is being with a local authority that is understanding of what those demands are. Your colleagues who are there for you whenever they need, you need them. If you've got a problem, a question, um, if you just need a bit of advice or just someone to talk to, then they're there. And then we try and make sure we do social events as well, just so that we, we have the balance. So we will often sort of go for dinner or meet for lunch, and we always make sure that we take lunch. And that's a time to just stop and, and, and rest and breathe. The facilities are very good, lunch, coffee, etc. Very new, well-equipped buildings which I think makes a big difference. You've also got laptops, you know, so we, we've sort of got mobile working. You can be a bit more flexible in your, in your working. There's not a huge turnover of staff, and you tend to be working with the same people. And you get to know, not only within social work, but in the areas, the extended professional group kind of instills you with confidence when you know who you need to be contacting. I've had quite long working relationships with some of the children and young people I work with. I mean I find one of the real um, benefits of Hertfordshire is the Leafs Car Scheme. It really is fantastic. That kind of re removes a burden. Travelling is quite a big part of my work. Um, I work with looked after children, some who are placed out of the area. Never had any issues with taking leave when I need to take leave. Recognising when maybe I do need a break. Within the team I'm working in it's it's always advised you take time off every six weeks, break the, the cycle every six weeks. Um, and that's something our manager sort of will keep an eye on in supervision. We certainly have quite a clear management structure and also, you know, we have very regular supervision, monthly supervision and PMDs, which is to review our sort of progress every, every year. So um, that's in place and it, it does happen, which is good. You never really get to that point where you're burnt out. There's a lot more you can do post-qualification. There are lots of areas you can move into. I've always been interested in um, you know, continuing to progress my career and the opportunities with Hertfordshire for that are very good. I mean, in our supervision, the, one of the questions is, what training would you like to go on? Um, you know, what's your aims and your goals? Within Hertfordshire itself, you've got quite a good mix of towns and countryside, whatever your choice might be in terms of a nice sort of market towns going out for meals there's lots to do see and it's easy to travel to other places as well the most important thing i think is that is that the place that you do your job you know that's what brings you in every day that's where you're going every day and if that isn't a positive friendly and supportive environment then you can't do your job if you were feeling particularly um unhappy with your current local authority perhaps a change is you know a change is as good as as anything else I've always felt very supported here and, and again this is my tenth year now I love coming to work so there's obviously a reason for that <laughs>